against household enemies this week um, and yesterday yesterday I posted um, a photo that I got somewhere I posted this this photo yesterday I posted this photo I hope we can all see it I hope we can all see it it's a photo of a baby it's a photo of a baby but um, it has been tied on um, on a tree on a tree trunk uh, with a red red string, and there are some some nails. Aroverewa padum pemana. There are some nails aroverewa padum pemana, and the reason why I posted that photo um, was to let you see how um, some of these household uh, enemies, some of these household witches and wizards operate when they are attacking us, when they are attacking our children, when they are attacking our, our, our marriages and everything. So for some of you, all the battles that you are facing, maybe you are sick, Maybe your marriage is under attack. Maybe your baby is not well. Maybe you've got a sibling who is sick or a parent who is not well. Or you are not well. 
it can be that there is something, a representation of you on an evil altar somewhere. There can be a representation of you on an evil altar somewhere that they are using to, to project um, afflictions and pain into your life. For some of you, it may be a wedding photo that they took of you and your husband. Uh, maybe Ndova Wangoi Tora Makaidamburane Pakati like separating you from your husband and they said as we have uh, separated them on this picture so shall they be in the physical realm and it's manifesting in the physical realm they make some incantations with that picture they tear it apart and they separate you maybe there are some some voodoo doll dolls that are representing you on the altar of the household enemy like they 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 make some voodoo dolls Jidori, it can be uh, a curved uh, door or it can be a door yaka gadzirwa. Ne, ne machira voisona. It represents you, it represents maybe your husband. Vavango, vano gona kungo masunganiza aka fratirana. And they make incantations, kuti, as we have done to these doors, this is how it is going to be like even in their marriage. Then Otanga Kona Murume uh Snabasanewe Ango Kufratira. They 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 there is a representation of you on an evil altar. For this baby, for this baby, it can be kuti even if she is to grow up and get married, she may even never have a baby because Vabaya they have punctured her womb. Vabaya chibere kochake and she's going to she may be barren in your life so when we when we when when i give you prayer points and i say pray that everything that is representing you on any demonic altar pray that anything even if it's your picture even if it's a door even if it's anything that uh that 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 they that is that they've um taken to represent you on any demonic altar let it uh catch fire let it expire some of you will take these prayer points um lightly you will start to think ah does it really can someone take a door and to represent me on an altar and it works it really works it does work so we want to pray we want to pray right now for some I know Bono Tora can picture a murume wako or a door. Yeah, 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 They enchant and they invoke your spirit on that, on that door. And then they, wano gona kubaya kana kumasaizuk. Then murume wako tons cannot either kidney failure or even your siblings. Pango pana arkunza ne kidney failure right now. But maybe there is something that is representing them on the evil altar. Chakango bai wa maybe nema neus kumasaizuk. And that represents the kidneys. Musoro chayo chayo vachita kutu ite migraine headache. There are some people who suffer from migraine headache here and there. Often, sometimes they just take a, maybe a needle and a, 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 a voodoo doll that is representing you. They they take a nail over by a msoro yoyo. Each and every time we have to unzwe msoro vanongo no baya msoro we chidori ne tsono. Then over watanga kunzwa msoro. I'm talking about things that are really happening. I'm talking about things that really happen. So some of our battles are because there is a representation of you on an altar somewhere. And that is what they are using to connect to you. That is what they are using to project afflictions into your life. So we want to pray. We want to pray today against anything that is representing you on any altar of any household enemy. Vamweta katore wa ma peds ma used peds chayo. You know, it's not all of us who are careful with our blood when we are on our menses. You just throw your 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 peds anyway, even wakaenda kumusha, you just throw them anyway. Some of you makatore wa mensura of blood and they are using it against you. Maybe right now you are praying for the fruit of the womb, jirikuramba, um, you know, experience a severe pain when you are going, when you are on your, on your menses. A lot of things, you have got so many gynecological problems, jeko, um, all sorts of things, fibroids and cysts. They may be using, maybe a used pet that you just threw away. Some of them, they even go to the extent of collecting your own blood when you are on your menses. They, they do it spiritually. 
they do it spiritually they collect your menstrual blood and they begin to use it against you maybe right now your menstrual blood is in a cauldron somewhere in a coven whereby every time uh, when when you feel like I think this time I've conceived Otanga Kunzoka Kuruta Ruta Kushotwa Shotwa Pavano Goshi realize that is what is happening. They go to that cauldron and they make some incantations, they do something, then it's done. You are already bleeding. You are menstruating. There are some people who come to my inbox evangelist. I had prayed and I thought um I had missed my menses, but all of a sudden I have started bleeding. Because there is something that is representing on, on an evil altar. Or even Vana, our children, take, like this baby, Akabaya Wapadum, maybe it's the womb, but Kuneva Nava Vaka Vanesh Pikiri Jakava Baya Mumisoro right now. Paneva Nawaka Tore Wama photos Akabaya Wakana Mumusoro. Then you just see your child occupy for my poorly at school and you don't understand Kutichi Chakaitika because my child used to be very bright, my child used to be very intelligent, but now he or she is performing poorly. Maybe there is a representation of him or her on an evil altar and that is what they are using to attack. That is what they are using to cage his destiny. Like in the case of this child, you, you realize could see, the photo Rakato Sungiri were around the tree. Meaning even your destiny has been tied to that tree. Your destiny has been tied to that tree. That, was, that is what I was saying when I was saying there are some people who have got their destinies tied on some, some trees in the village, some trees in the forest, some trees in the wilderness there, and you don't even know about it. I was talking to people the other time and I was saying, in in I grew up in the village. We would use, we, we used to go kuno chagawuni to fetch some firewood in the forest. Then you find some trees anema zitevanu akanyoro. Then to us it was just like, but people are crazy. How can someone come on your zitara kepamuti musango makadai? That was what we thought at that time. But I didn't know that it could not be the the owner of the name really akatonyora zitero ro pamuti. Kuno gona kunge kuine a household enemy. Just to tie the the destiny of that person on that tree. Kuna patai and aku unuch no na kana pama tombo, kana mnenge makaita kunge mutuma kev, makanyor wamas tai evan then you just think ah maybe van wakango shika o wakango kira omnum gomu the the wakango farro kuti van wazo zoti wakambo fura ne pa kev virori kano twakambo fura ne pa dombo irori. But that will not be the case sometimes. I destiny a munya kato sungiri wapa dombo i destiny a munya kato sungiri wapa muti. So, pane pane pampe kuti maigo na kuenda kana kuno chagawuni Mosanga na kana nempuzi ya kasungiri wa jirajuku Rinechi tegi maybe chakanyo wa zitare munu And you just think kuti, ah, ameno pamwe Zizu, zizu, what is happening? But right now, ndo pata kutanga kujekero. Ya ito ri destiny ya munu, maybe yange ya kasungiri wapa mpuzi ndo vaya. Ya to zingiri wapu sango and the way mpuzi yoya inenge chingo tenterera msango, that is the, the how the person's destiny will be going like, you will be going in circles, you will be confused and all. So, I just want you I just wanted to enlighten you and to let you understand Kuti how do these household enemies operate? How did these house household enemies operate? So we want to pray. We want to pray today that anything that is representing you on any demonic altar anything that is representing you on any demonic altar that is the reason why at one time i was asking there are people who whose marriages are under attack right now why because maybe you 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 lost a part of your wedding band you lost a part of your wedding band and it's for is for for us women marine edo and engari too wakaluza one ukasarane one and to you it wasn't any problem maybe murume wako chaye akangosha ya ring yake maybe i visa is like my husband is an auto electrician i'm not gonna visa ring arukubasa because aka itabasa Rema gets a motor, a cafe car ring, a no green one, a gets. So sometimes I know this ring at Chishanda. Maybe one go is shy, then he just thinks, ah, 
ameno yango rascal but it will be an attack to your marriage maybe a month down the line or two months down the line wakatanga kuona zvunhu zvisingachaite zvakanaka mu marriage yako and you never knew kuti that ring ya wakashaya that wedding band that you 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 missed is the one that is now being used on an altar somewhere to attack your marriage so if you are here you missed part of your wedding ring or you missed your whole wedding ring and right now it is not well in your marriage i just want you to understand that that was an attack to your marriage that was an attack to your marriage and that wedding ring is being used somewhere that wedding ring is on a demonic altar somewhere so we want to pray we want to pray right now that anything anything do you know what there are people here when my academic certificates chayo chayo are represented on an evil altar with some papers munanongo tora bepa over a enchanta kuti these are her academic certificates now and i'm putting them on this altar uh, over a a a case a case a spell and a jinx on those on those certificates and it it starts to manifest in the physical wakucha gabasa even when them uri over qualified awuri wane even when them are suitable qualifications awuri wane basa because your certificates your ag academic certificates are represented somewhere on a demonic altar so what they do every time you know no can't resume vano batama pepe wayo they make incantations vano batama pepe wayo they cast spells and jinxes kuti kwa ende say koko is not going to work i don't know if i'm talking to somebody i don't know if i'm talking to somebody for some maybe you are in the uk but uchiri kuno ku Zimbabwe kana kuti paunombodzoka kuno uku ku Zimbabwe kuno visitor pana nongogona kuno kora tsoka dzako pana nongogona ngono kora ivura watsika netsoka dzako iwo kwira ndege zvako odzokera ku UK uchinoshika ikoko a oh hell breaks loose wadzingwa basa wakutanga kudzembereka oshoti what happened ndakangoenda kumusha ndikadzoka and all these things are happening pana nenga kuku control atsoka dzako dziri on an evil altar and now they can control your destiny they can control you using evil chairo ravakanokora retsoka dzako so i want us to pray that if there is anything anything that is representing you on any demonic altar let it expire let it expire for some maybe i'm talking about people who are in marriages right now but you cannot be intimate with your husband anymore akita nge muno ane erectile dysfunction azvita shande no meta ukabata kana kuita say you know i know varume vedu sometimes they do zvimwe zvunhu zvekuti you fail to understand kuti chi maybe akadana na nemunhu akango collector spam yake cd yake akaenda nayo kunoisa kana mu a, 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 a demonic cauldron kana on an evil altar and that is now what they are using to control you they are using it to control the intimates in your house i don't know if i'm talking to somebody i don't know if i'm talking to somebody Tawa o chairo chairo rane nga shanti sa whatever they use maybe they use a towel or she used a my wife's chairo ati no mbo shanti sa o vango collector that seed yanga producer and they presented it on a demonic altar and all hell breaks loose in the bedroom apana chicha famba they can even control his fertility they can even begin to control his fertility dopa mnona you try munhu ku try maybe makaita mwana one pechi two ma ku try muchi try but zvakuramba why because there is someone somewhere aku control kuti azvite you know these jezebels they can also do anything because ndaramba ndoda kuva fixa because ndaramba ndaudo tova rwadzisawo so they she can just begin to attack you she can just begin to control everything even as na kurambwa anogona ngo controla kuti even panoenda kumba nga zvinoramba zvingoita ku side kwangu chete panoya kuno kundipo nga zviti so i'm trying to let you see how these witches and how these wizards how these household enemies operate i'm trying to let you see how they operate so we want to pray we want to pray we want to pray kuti if there is any representation of you your husband 
your children or your siblings on any demonic altar, on any demonic altar, let it expire today. Let it expire. We are going to withdraw all the things that they have taken from us and they are using them against us. These days, ne social media. Unoto roma photo za kwa kaji na kirongo tore gandi di se pa kana pa Facebook a chenge tezeke for memory's sake that even my children wakazokura wano now and oh muna akuto downloader from Facebook a ku downloader from your WhatsApp status and they begin to use it against you. I'm not saying don't post your pictures, don't post. Uh, don't don't put your your photos on facebook or on whatsapp status but i'm just saying be careful you have to pray for those pictures before you display them on any social media platform even after your wedding today and that's how they are now attacking your marriage that is how they are attacking your marriage incantations no barrenness, but you cast a barrenness, um, whatever confusion in your marriage and all using those photos. So I'm just saying, be careful, be careful when you are posting your your pictures on social media platform. There are some people who, who even post my plans, Avo, and their aspirations on social media. Just be careful because that is the information that your enemy needs. That is the information that you are giving him. So be very careful. So today we want to pray that if there is any representation of you on any demonic altar, of your siblings, of your parents, uh, as we are praying, we, we want to withdraw all those things that they took from us and they are now using against us. For some, it's there are people who are not going I'm not saying it's wrong. But they just love giving. my old wardrobe. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong. But I'm just saying there are some household enemies who take advantage out of love and they begin to use those clothes against you. They begin to use those clothes against you. So we want to pray could even kanapane chawaka pamunu kunevan wano like maybe giving people money to you. You love you love your relatives, you love them, you give them money, or can go in the kumusha, or can go sangana navo, mari mozo tenga drink, mari mozo die, mozo die. I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm not saying it's wrong giving people money, but I'm saying there are some people who will take advantage of that and they will use that money against you. They will they will they will begin to pronounce cases against you using the very money that you have given them. So before you give anybody money, before you give anybody money, first of all, pray for it and soak it with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of God. Whatever they may want to use this money, if they want to use this money against me, let it be fire. In it, I'm doing this out of love. And I encourage you, I encourage you, if you want to give somebody something, you want to help, Jirinane to, to, to buy something that you really want to give them rather than giving them really hard money, hard current, because they can use it against you. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying pray about it. Pray before you give anybody anything. Pray and cover yourself. Pray and cover yourself. I've heard manifestations here. Kuti muna no yanti manifesto. Uchi muna matoti. Dinambu ya wake. Nruku shantisa grosa raka. Ndi gira pa Christmas. Kumu ataka. You know, those things really do happen. Those things really do happen. So we need to be careful and we need to be prayerful in everything. We need to be prayerful in everything. So today I was reading Angu. Um, Ndi chingo daku nzikisisa about um, household enemies. Uh, we are going to talk, we, I'm going just to read this one scripture. I'm just going to read this one scripture. Then we are going to pray. 
First Samuel chapter 10, we are going to read First Samuel chapter 10. First Samuel chapter 10, we are going to read First Samuel chapter 10. First Samuel chapter 10. Let's read First Samuel chapter 10, verse 14 to 16. Verse 14 to 16. First Samuel chapter 10, verse 14 to 16. Then Saul's uncle said to him and his servant, Where did you go? So he said, To look for the donkeys. When we saw that they were nowhere to be found, we went to Samuel. And Saul's uncle said, Tell me, please, tell me, please, what Samuel said to you. So say, so, so say to his uncle, he told us plainly that the donkeys had been found, but about the matter of the kingdom, he did not tell him what Samuel had said. This is a time when Saul so and um, his father's servant had gone out to seek for their father's donkeys. And uh, when they couldn't find the donkeys, they decided to, to see the seer. And by that time, the seer was Samuel. And when they go to Samuel, Samuel is saying, the donkeys that you were looking for, they have already been found. But I'm here to tell you that the Lord wants to anoint you to be king over his people. And so, so, so gets anointed there. Then when they go back home, when they go back home, I want you to notice that when they get home, the first person that so finds at the gate is his uncle. The first person that he finds at the gate is his uncle. And the uncle is saying, where, where were you? So, 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 so told him, we had gone to seek for the donkeys. And uh, along the way, we met Samuel. Then the uncle asks, please tell me, tell me please what Samuel said. There are people, we have got household enemies who are interested in knowing every detail about our lives, who are interested in knowing the progress that are, we are making in life. They, they, they call you often, they text you often asking, how are you doing? If you tell them the, your, your plans, they will be checking on you, asking, how far have you gone with that? How far have you gone with that? How far have you gone with that? They, are, they, they, they want to check the progress that you have made. But I am glad, I am glad that Saul had the spirit of discernment at this particular time. So discerned that uncle is not asking me because he loves me. So Saul told him that, Samuel told us that the donkeys were found, but about him being anointed to become king about the kingdom, so never said anything. So I'm, I just want you to understand. I just want you to understand. Zinoita uh, check on you regularly. Zichiku vunza kutuuri say uh in a project ya urkuita shakamira say who are happy and are celebrating what you are doing well so you should be very careful you should be very careful of people who want to check your progress people who always want to check the progress that you are making in any project that you are doing like Saul's uncle is doing here so like i posted before i just want you to pray and say mari information Help me not to give them the information that they need to attack me. Help me not to give them the information that they need to catch my destiny. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I just wanted to share that with you. I just wanted to share that with you. So now we want to pray. Now we want to pray. We want to pray. So the first prayer point is about the picture that I, I, show, I have shown you. The first prayer point is about the picture that I have shown you. But before before we before we we start praying, I always say this: these are warfare prayers. These are warfare prayers whereby we want to reverse, whereby we want to reverse the arrows that have been fired against us. And when we are making these prayers, I want you to understand that these household enemies. Vaninga was no kugara, waka peta maoko, kuti wo urive se ma arrows avo esa vaninga vakaita, nema cases avo esa vaninga vaka pronounce a So the moment we start these prayers, I've, I've had people coming to my inbox, evangelist, pataka tanga, operation vundunura, I faced such and such attacks. These household enemies, vaninga was no kugara, they will not be relaxed like this, they will retaliate. 
they will retaliate. So before we make such prayers, we need to cover ourselves. So I want us, I want us to pray right now and say, God, Spirit of the living God, blood of Jesus, cover me as I embark on these prayers. Cover me as I embark on these prayers. If you have got, if you even have anointing oil, just anoint yourself. Just anoint yourself as we begin to pray. Spirit of the living God, cover me. Blood of Jesus, cover me as I embark on these prayers. I just want you to be praying. I just want you to be praying. I just want you to be praying. Cover me, blood of Jesus, as we embark on these prayers. Cover us as we embark on these prayers. Cover us as we embark on these prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we lift your name. That is above every other name. We lift it higher right now. Cover us, almighty God. May your spirit envelop us as we embark on these prayers. I stand, I declare, and I decree according to your word in Isaiah. That no weapon that is fashioned against us as we are making these prayers, as we are firing these prayers, is going to prosper against anybody who is connecting to this live stream right now. No weapon that is fashioned against them right now is going to prosper. And I pray that any tongue that may want to rise against our prayers, that may want to rise against us as we pray, may that tongue be condemned in judgment. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we are beginning to pray. We are starting to pray. We are starting to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Lift your hands. Lift lift your hands. As you are lifting those hands, I am praying. I am praying that the fire of deliverance and the power of God, the power of God that sets the captives free, the power of God that protects us the power of god that envelops us may that power rest on your hands right now the power of deliverance may the blood of jesus begin to flow through your hands may the blood of jesus begin to flow through your hands and may the liquid fire of god be upon those hands right now now i want you to lay both hands on your head I want you to lay your, your hands, both your hands on your head. And please keep me posted in comments what will be happening. I want you to lay both hands on your head. And I want you to pray and say, Oh God, if there is anything that is representing me on any demonic altar of the household enemy, anything that is representing me, Anything that is representing my children, anything that is representing my finances, anything that is representing my marriage, anything that is representing my business, that is on any demonic altar of any household enemy. As I begin to pray right now, let your liquid fire flow to all those altars. Let your liquid fire be released and begin to flow to every altar with anything that is representing me. Let the let all those things be consumed right now by your fire. Let all those things that are representing me on any demonic altar, let them be consumed by fire right now. Let them be consumed by fire right now. Any photos of mine on any demonic altar, you know, as I'm praying, some of you, the, the, your photos are deep under the water. Begin to pray and say, let your fire go there. Let your fire destroy everything that is representing me on any demonic altar. Let your fire, let your fire, let your fire, let your fire destroy anything that is representing me on any demonic altar. Begin to pray and as you are praying, begin to mention your children's names. Mention your husband's name, mention your siblings' names. Mention even the names of your parents and begin to pray that if there is anything that is representing any of them on any demonic altar, let it catch fire in the name of Jesus. Let it catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any voodoo door that is representing you on any demonic altar, any photo of you that they downloaded from any social media um, side, anything that is representing you on any demonic altar, let it catch fire. Your 
blood, your mental opens that they have. Let them catch fire right now in the name of Jesus. Let the liquid fire of God flow to every altar that has got any representation of you on it. Any altar of any household enemy that has got anything that is representing you, that is representing your academic qualifications, that is representing your marriage, that is representing your finances, that is representing your children. Let it catch fire right now. Let it catch fire right now. The same fire that 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 that, 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 that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. May that same fire, may that liquid fire, may that brimstone and fire begin to flow to those altars and destroy anything that is representing you. Anything that is representing you on any demonic altar. Anything that is representing you on any demonic altar. Let it catch fire right now. Let it catch fire right now. Let it catch fire right now. I've got this this daughter of mine, Wandakana Matira, then the demon manifested and said, Tinoko letaro parake pese pano wira kumusha. And each and every time that she comes to the village, we collect her blood. And I asked, how do you collect this blood? They said, pese pano wira kumusha. We make it a point. Kuti ano tokuara. It said, ano gumpuru wakano tano bayuasho. Kuti roparino buda. And that is how we collect her blood. I want you to pray. I want you to pray that if they collected anything of yours, if there is anything that is representing you on any demonic altar, let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Even if it's your blood that is on any demonic cauldron, let your blood catch fire right now. Let your blood catch fire right now. Let your blood catch fire right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So after deliverance, the kamuvuns and cut. What happens? Ukainda kumusha chich noitika. Then I. I, I, I explained to her what had happened that she was evangelist every time the kind of commotion did not talk and in a ronda did not talk it around that a good thing did not bleed as you sing it every time pantino and a commotion I want us to pray I want you to continue to pray anything that is representing you on any demonic altar anything that is representing you on any demonic altar let it catch fire let it catch fire let it catch fire let it catch fire, it catch fire. in the mighty name name of Jesus. Anything that the household enemy is using to control you, to control your destiny, to catch you, to catch your destiny. Let it catch fire right now. Let it catch fire right now. If it's your cloth, if it's your hair. My God, during the day I was talking to one of my daughters, a chief evangelist, I am experiencing the most a, a, a severe attack from spiritual husband. And I said, what happened? Because at one time we prayed and you were free. You can see, and from that day, this spiritual husband has been attacking me every day. So they can even use your hair to connect you to demonic spirits. They can even use your hair to represent you on any demonic altar. I want you to pray that if there is anything on their altar that they are using to connect you to any demonic spirit, to any attack, let it catch fire right now. Let it catch fire right now and let their altars be scattered. Let their altars be scattered. Let their altars be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, now we want to, I want you to pray and say, whatever information, whatever information the household enemy is using against me, whatever information the household enemy is using against me, let it be blotted out by the blood of Jesus tonight. Let it be blotted out by the blood of Jesus tonight. Whatever information that I gave them, whatever information they received about me, and they are now using it against me, they are now using it against my destiny, let it be blotted out by the blood of Jesus. Let it be blotted out by the blood of Jesus. Whatever information they collected about me, let it 
Let it be blotted out. Let it be blotted out. Swanake lengwenya vomiting and tine bayo ranti bayo kumsana. Lolo tu ubate parukuba yone bayo ipapo right now. Waka pabata I command fire. I command the mighty consuming fire of God to consume that arrow right now. I command that arrow to jump out of your spine. Jump out in the name of Jesus. That arrow that wants to attack your nervous system. I command it to jump out right now fire in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus be delivered in the mighty name of jesus be delivered in the mighty name of jesus be delivered miranda team gabe patatanga kuna matanduku nzwa sharp pain pa west line ku right side do not to bate ipapo do not to bate ipapo up wese ane par kunzwa par ku rwadza kana kupisa kana ane any sensation ya kunzwa on any part of your body i want you to touch that area with your right hand as you are doing so i command liquid fire of god i command the liquid fire of god right now all over your body in the mighty name of jesus i connect each and everybody who is watching right now to a divine supernatural socket right now may the uh, the the the, the the fire of God, the wave of God begin to flow through your body right now. Fire begin to flow through your body. Fire begin to flow even in your blood. Fire begin to flow from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Mighty consuming fire. Fire, fire, fire. I command every part of your body to be delivered. Somebody saying my shoulders are heavy. I command every demonic lord, every demonic lord from any coven that had been placed upon your shoulders i command it right now to expire i command it right now to expire i command it right now to expire somebody is saying i'm coughing non-stop i want you everybody i want you to begin to cough out i want you to cough out seven times as you are coughing i command anything that is not of god in your body to come out arrows that have been fired into your chest arrows that have been fired into your stomach arrows that have been fired into your blood i command it right now i command it right now come out in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus kanapane chipiki richa kabaya photo rako padumbu chakabaya photo rako pamsoro chakabaya photo rako pamasides kanapane chipiki richa kabaya msana wako ijeji i command it right now i command that arrow to jump out of your body I command that arrow to jump out of your body. Jump out in the name of Jesus. Jump out in the name of Jesus. Every arrow, every arrow that has been fired into your life. Right now, I command it to back fire. I command it to back fire. I command it to back fire. I command every demonic arrow that has been fired into your body. I command it to back fire right now. I command it to back fire right now. I command it to back fire right now i command it to back fire right now spirit of the living god release your power over this platform right now begin to touch each and everyone who is connecting begin to touch them begin to touch them begin to touch them the bible says whoever the sun sets free is free indeed you even said in your word in isaiah that even the captives of the mighty even the captives of the mighty they shall be taken away father may you take away the captives of the mighty may they be delivered tonight may they be delivered tonight may they be delivered tonight in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus as i am praying kunevari kubvutwa kubvakuru wako rwema household enemies kunevari kubvutwa kubvakuma altars ema household enemies right now in the name of jesus the right hand of god is on this platform the right hand of god is on this platform right now to take the captives of the mighty away to take the captives of the mighty away in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I want you to pray I want you to pray now I want you to pray now there are some people you you always you always almost have a, a breakthrough you always almost unogwaita mania misses ndakatopotsa ndarorwa ndakatopotsa ndawana basa 
ndakato potter nda promote evangelist zvaka zongoramba last minute there are some household enemies who always stand at your gate of breakthrough who always stand at your door of breakthrough but we want to pray right now we want to pray I want you to pray and say, household enemies at the gate of my breakthrough, your time is up. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Household enemies at the gate of my breakthrough. Household enemies. Time has expired. Household enemies that always stand at my gate of breakthrough, causing setbacks, causing disappointments, causing limitations. I command you right now in the name of Jesus, die by fire. Every household enemy, tentai gweshe, cough out seven times and vomit right now. Cough out seven times and vomit right now. I want you to pray and say, any household enemy who always stands at my gate of breakthrough, I command you right now to die by fire. I release fire over you. I release bowls of fire. I release bowls of fire. I release bowls of fire. Wesa noti varira madoze ma breakthrough. Wesa noti varira mikana. I command you, your time is up right now. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire fire die by fire every household enemy who always stands at the gate of my breakthrough this should have a financial breakthrough you stand at my gate this should have a marital breakthrough you stand at my gate this should have a job breakthrough you you stand at my gate i command you right now die by fire die 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 in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus now, these household enemies, they've got their networks. They've got communication networks that they use. So, in each, in each and every area, yaunenda kuno gara. In each and every area, yaunenda kuno gara. Kune coven, yei koko, kuno sanga na varoiwe njimbo yoyo. So, when muroiwe kumusha kwenyu, Akabva kumusha kwenya chida kuya kuzo kuroya. Tombo turku bindura. Ava gwone kuya kunanga direct kumba kwako. They have to go through the coven ya kubindura. Kutivazo ya kumba kwako. Veku, varo ive kubindura. Ndo ava no zova uza. Ma strategies ava ava no shandisa. Ne, ma territorial spirits are no governor. Jimbo inonzi bindura. And the, the enemy will now attack you. But she sent some strategy and Jimbo Yoyo. So I want I want I want us to pray. I want us to pray right now. I want you to pray and say, I scatter and destroy evil networks of household witches and wizards in the mighty name of Jesus. I scatter and destroy their communication networks. I scatter and destroy their communication networks. So this is, this is what happens. They want to attack my marriage. They want to attack my marriage. I am in Zimbabwe. My husband is in Mozambique. This is what they do. They will go to Coven, Yeku Mozambique. They present their case. Tukuda kwa attack marriage ye munu. Mukadzo arku Zimbabwe, but murume arku shandra muno Mozambique. Kukoven ikoko, njoo kwa wano no presentwa, ne munu are suitable for that task. Njoo kwa wano no presentwa na Jezebel, are suitable ku destroyer, marriage ya waza. Then they will make it a point, kuti Jezebel uyu, ne murume wangu ze, 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 zira zabo zinofangu wakuno sangana samwe. Pane pavano fanu, pane pavano fanu wakuno sangana. Kanava sangana uyu jezane nga atori redane mapari equipped with the powers. So, when I'm saying let's destroy their network, this is the network that I'm talking about. This is the network that I'm talking about. So, I want, I want us to pray. 
I want us to pray and say we destroy and scatter every communication network and every network that my household enemies are using to attack me. I destroy their network by fire right now. My booster ammo, whatever they are using, every communication network that they have, every network networking zawad zavanoita to attack you and to attack you. I command it right now. Fire to all their networks. Fire to all their communication networks. Fire, fire. I want you to command 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 fire. Release balls of fire to any network. Any network that your household enemies are using to attack you. Any network that they are using to attack you. Fire to that network. Fire to their networks. Fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Command fire to their networks. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14, verse uh, 23 to 25. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus chapter 23, chapter 14, Exodus chapter 14, I'm sorry, Exodus chapter 14, Exodus chapter 14, verse 23 to 25, verse 23 to 25, um, and the Egyptians pursued and went after them into the midst of the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots and his horsemen. Now it came to pass in the morning watch that the Lord looked down upon the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and cloud, and he troubled the army of the Egyptians, and he took off their chariot wheels so that they drove them with difficulty. And the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel. Yesterday I talked about household enemies having they are they are they are setting your 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 destined vehicle on reverse mode they've got their own uh vehicles they've got their own chariots in the spiritual realm that they use to carry you backwards that they use to carry you back to your junior school that they use to carry you back to your village each and every time you're about to break through they will come with these vehicles and they will carry you backwards they will begin to to transport you in a reverse mode to set you back to disappoint you to 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 derail you so i want you to pray i want you to pray the bible is saying and the lord took off the wheels of their chariots and the Lord took off the wheels of their chariots. I want you to pray and say, Oh Lord, trouble the host of my household enemies and scatter them tonight. Oh Lord, trouble the host of my stubborn enemies and scatter them tonight. My stubborn pursuers, stubborn household enemies who are pursuing me, may you trouble their host tonight. May you trouble their host tonight. Trouble them and scatter them tonight. Trouble them and scatter them tonight. Trouble them and scatter them tonight. The Bible is saying, and the Lord, the Lord troubled the host of the Egyptians. The Lord troubled the host of the Egyptians. May their host be troubled tonight. May their host be troubled tonight. And may they be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. May they be scattered in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. And say, household evil pursuers of my destiny, may the hand of God take off the wheels of your chariots tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. May the hand of God take off the wheels of your chariot tonight. Whatever 
mode of transport you used to attack me, whatever mode of transportation you were using to pursue me, may the hand of the Lord take off your wheels tonight. May the hand of the Lord ground you tonight. May the hand of the Lord take off your chariot wheels in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, may they be grounded tonight. May they, the, 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 the wheels of their chariots be taken off tonight. Whatever mode of transportation they use, may they be grounded. May they be grounded tonight. May they be grounded tonight that they cannot pursue you anymore. May they be grounded tonight that they cannot pursue you anymore. May they be grounded tonight that they cannot pursue you anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want you to pray. I want you to pray and say, Demonic vehicles being used by household enemies to carry me backwards be grounded in the name of jesus demonic vehicles that are being used by the household enemies to carry me backwards be grounded tonight be grounded permanently tonight in the mighty name of jesus whatever transportation they are using to draw you backwards and to, to 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 drive you backwards may that their transportation be grounded may their wheels be taken off in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus now i want your 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 left hand on your head and your right hand on your stomach your left hand on your head and your your right hand on your stomach i want you to pray i want you to pray and say every satanic plantation or arrow fired by household enemies into my body fired by household enemies into any part any organ of my body my spirit and my soul what are you waiting for catch fire and jump out of my body right now catch fire and jump out right now in the name of jesus I want you to pray, I want you to pray, I want you to pray. Left hand on your head and right hand on your stomach, I want you to pray and say, any plantation and any arrow that was fired into any part of my body, any part of my spirit and any part of my soul, your time is up. Catch fire right now and jump out of my body. Catch fire right now and jump out of my body. Any arrow that was fired into your heart, any arrow that was fired into your womb, any arrow that was fired into your head, any arrow that was fired into your hands, any arrow that was fired into your legs, any arrow that was fired into your blood, any arrow that was fired into your bones, any arrow that was fired into your flesh, any arrow that was fired into your tendons, into your muscles, I command that arrow to jump out of your body right now. I command that arrow to jump out of your body right now. I command it right now to jump out of your body. I command it right now to jump out of your body as you are praying may the holy spirit begin to charge your body from head to toe right now may your body be charged up right now may your body be charged up right now i charge your body up by heavenly fire i charge your body up by the spirit of god in the mighty name of jesus be charged up right now be charged up right now let everything that is not of god come out let everything that is not of god manifest Manifest right now. Let everything that is not of God manifest and come out. Let everything that is not of God manifest and come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. I increase the voltage wherever you are. I increase the voltage in your body. I increase the voltage in that environment right now. I increase it. I increase it. I increase it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let everything that is not of God come out. Let everything that is not of God catch fire and come out of your body. Catch fire and come out of your body. Catch fire and come out of your body. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. If there is anything that is happening, just type in comments what is happening. Type in comments if anything is happening where you are. Type in comments if anything is happening where you are. 
Now I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray one more time. I want you to pray. Ezekiel chapter 8. Ezekiel chapter 8. Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 10. 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 Let's read. Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 10. It says, So I went in. Let's start from verse 9. And he said to me, Go in and see the wicked abominations which they are doing there. So I went in and saw, and there, every sort of creeping thing, abominable beasts, and all and and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed all around on the walls. Every form of creeping thing. Every form of creeping thing. Every form of creeping thing. What are these creeping things? What are these creeping things? They are serpents. They are dragons. They are geckos. They are lizards. Every form. Every form. Every form. Now I want you to pray. Now I want you to pray. Some of these things that we see in our houses... Some of these things that we see in our houses and we just think they are ordinary things. It's ordinary to see them like geckos, like rats, flies, cockroaches, even dogs that room around your, 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 your compound, cats that room around your compound, some birds that just come some of these some of these creatures some of these creatures are from the the, the the coven some of these are from the coven there are agents that are being assigned into your environment to monitor you and to afflict you there are agents that are being assigned from the coven to monitor you and to afflict you now i want you to pray I want you to pray and say, Oh God, the Lord God of Elijah, who answers by fire, release your fire to consume every creeping agent, every crawling agent in my environment. Charge my environment up right now and begin to consume every creeping thing, every living thing that has been assigned from the coven into my environment. Be consumed by fire right now. 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 Fire right now. Every creeping thing. Every flying birds of the air that have been assigned to fly against my destiny, they fly over my environment, but yet they are flying against my destiny. I command you right now to face the fire of God. Liquid fire of God in my environment right now. Liquid fire of God in my house. Liquid fire of God in my in my premises liquid fire of god in my yard right now in the name of jesus right now in the name of jesus any form of animal that has been assigned from the coven to roam my environment, I command you right now to face the wrath of God. I command you to face the wrath of God. I command you to face the wrath of God in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, die by fire. Die, 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 die in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name. Those who are home, you, if you are at home right now, if you are at home right now, I just want you to, to move around your house, opening every door and declaring and commanding the fire of God, calling on the Lord God of Elijah. Lord God of Elijah, who answers by fire, come into my house and answer me by fire tonight. Consume every creeping thing in my house. Open every room. Open every room and begin to pray. 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 Pray, 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 pray. 
Let fire be released. Let fire be released. Let fire be released. Let fire be released. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now I want you to pray and say, Oh, household enemies meeting in secret places to devise mischief and wicked counsel against me. Receive angelic slaps and be exposed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive angelic slaps and be exposed tonight in the name of Jesus. Every household enemy who meet together in secret places to devise mischief against my destiny. Receive angelic slaps and be exposed tonight. Receive angelic slaps and be be exposed tonight be exposed be exposed be exposed in the mighty name of jesus let them be exposed let them be exposed let them be exposed let them be exposed in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus now i want you to pray now i want you to pray um you shall read this you shall read this at your own time first kings chapter 13 verse 4 uh, it's, it's a scripture about Jeroboam pointing at a man of God who had come to give him a prophecy of what was going to happen to his evil altars and to his uh, rulership. Then he, he pointed at the man of God, uh, instructing his men to, 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 but as he was pointing at the man of God, the Bible says his, his hand withered. His hand with that instantly. I want you to pray right now and say every evil hand of any wicked household enemy pointing at me for evil with the by fire in the name of Jesus. Any demonic hand that is pointing at you, that is pointing at your destiny for evil, let that hand with the by fire. Let that hand with the by fire. Let that hand with the by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glad this Shingoka I vomited as I declared fire of Elijah and opening the doors. We thank the Spirit of God for delivering you. We thank the Spirit of God for delivering you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, the last prayer point. The last prayer point. Dark cauldron on the altar of household enemies, cooking family destinies, scatter and break by fire. Every dark cauldron on the altar of any household enemy, cooking the destinies of the members of the family. I command you to break right now. I command that cauldron to break right now. I command that cauldron to break right now. Mita Chirinda, I want you to hold your chest with your right hand. As you are holding it, I command every demonic arrow from any coven to jump out of your chest right now. I command that arrow to jump out of your chest in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Let's all get, let's all get um, a glass of water or a cup of water. Just get a glass of water or a cup of water. Berlin, that said, Tachuma, I vomited. We thank God for the deliverance. We thank God for the deliverance. Get a glass of water or a cup of water, everybody. Get a glass of water or a cup of water. We want to... This is the last prayer point. It's the last prayer point that we are going to make. It's the last prayer point that we are going to make. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Once you have the water, just type in comments, I have it. Once you have the water, just type in comments, I have it. Just type, I have it in comments. Reta Wove ranks vomited. We thank God. We thank God for the deliverance. We thank God for the deliverance. We thank God for the deliverance.
so as you are holding that water let me pray father in the mighty name of jesus as they are holding this water i pray for your right hand to be upon this water and that your angel that you assigned to steer the waters in the pool of Bethsaida for deliverance and for healing, may that same angel be dispatched right now to steer the water that they are holding. Lord, there are so many areas of their lives that have been destroyed, that have been damaged by the, house, by the arrows of the household enemies. For some, it's even the, the organs and the parts of their bodies that have been destroyed. Lord, I'm praying that as they partake of this water, any damage and any harm that has been caused in their lives and in their bodies by the arrows from the household enemies, may they be healed, may they be delivered. May each and every organ and each and every part of their bodies that was damaged by arrows from household enemies, be healed and be delivered. I declare your word in Isaiah that says, by your stripes we are healed. May the power of your stripes be also in this water. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I just want you to partake of the water. I just want you to partake of that water. As you are partaking of that water, if there is any part of your body, any organ of your body that was damaged by any arrow from any household enemy, may that organ, may that part of your body receive healing right now. May the whole, may your whole body receive healing. May your whole body receive healing, and may every part that was damaged be restored. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. If anything is happening or if anything happened during this live stream, may you please just type in comments what happened before we close. Just type what happened before we close. If anything happened or if anything is happening where you are, just type what is happening or what happened before we close. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So before you before before we we close before we close may we just please share the live stream may we just share the live stream just share the live stream before we close may you share the live stream before you close may you share the live stream before we close share the live stream share the live stream before we close I'm only seeing 28 shares I'm only seeing 28 shares. Let's share the live stream before we close. Let's just share the live stream. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Reta Wove Rens, I command that arrow that was fired into your leg, I command it to jump out and may your leg be restored and be healed in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Flow Chipuma, my hand started shaking as you were praying for the water. We thank God for the power. We thank God for the power. Thank you, thank you. Let's just share the live stream. From the start to now, I have been vomiting. Uh, my daughter has been spitting froth. My legs are weak. Heavenly flavors be delivered and be permanently restored in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you. Let's share the live stream. Let's share the live stream. Let's share the live stream. Let's share, let's share, let's share. Thank you so much. Thank you, good people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, 
Ndinonya nisa kufarira uti mutende mwari kwete kutenda inini. Ndinonya nisa kufarira uti mutende mwari kwete inini because all the glory and the honor belongs to him. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a vessel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Christina Joseph, receive the sword to slay that serpent in your right hand tonight. Receive, receive the sword. Receive it in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, good people. I love you so much, but God loves you more. Thank you, thank you, thank you.